Hi, Bass Clarinets. In today's video, we're gonna do the accent on performance from page 16 of Accent Book Two. This piece is called Cyberspace Overture, and it was written by the composers of our method book. We're not going to play the song from beginning to end. Rather, we're gonna break this piece up into its sections, and then your challenge will be to piece it all back together. So the beginning of this piece, we are in 4-4 four, four time, and it is allegro, and we've got one flat, B flat. I'm gonna set my tempo on my, on my metronome to 110 as my allegro this morning. And the first line of this is our introduction. It's really not that difficult and starts with some rest. Join me, we'll count the rests, and we'll play and stop at measure nine. Ready? Ready? Go. Rest two, three, four. Rest two, three, four. Rest two, three, four. One, two, play. Right. The most difficult thing to manage is connecting the long notes that are tied. Remember, they just make notes longer and crescendoing and playing that note accented right before measure nine. Now let's get into the next section, nine. This is where a melody component and a rhythmic component come in play. We're gonna play from nine to 17. One and two and, and four and, and two and three, four, one and two and, and four and, here we go. Measure nine, ready, set, go. <laughs> Mark the E flat in measure 15 if you make that mistake. Next, we're gonna go on to make measure 17, and we're gonna be back on that E flat. Measure 17 takes us to a first ending, and then back to 17, and then to a second ending. Let's do all that. 17 to the first ending, 17 to the second ending, but stop before you reach measure 27. Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. One, two, and 17 dotted quarter. tiny squeak in there. I'm sorry, I'll fix that. So in the second ending, tricky rhythm. Think of it this way, one and two and three and four and, but take away the numbers two, three, and four. One and, 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 that's the rhythm. When we take away those numbers two, three, and four, what we're doing is we're resting there. So that measure, Sounds like that. Let's continue where we left off, measure 27. And we're gonna play from measure 27 to the end of the next line underneath, which where the fine and the fermata symbol are. You'll recognize this rhythm pattern. It's the same as measure nine, but in a different octave. One, two, measure 27, go. One, two, E flat, go. And that last note that you play in measure 36 is on beat number three. Three like that. At this point in the song, it changes tempo. It gets andante. So I'm gonna take my metronome to 
70 beats per minute. And this section also changes its key. So we have an F sharp in this part of the song and it's gonna last for the next three lines. So we've got some half notes to play. Let's start at 37, play the first ending, back to 37, take the second ending, and stop at the measure 43. Watch out for that F sharp. One, two, 37, go. <laughs> Hopefully you remembered the second ending. Measure 43, we'll start there and we'll play to measure 51. There are some E flats along the way and some F naturals too. One, two, measure 43, ready, set, begin. <laughs> What were the notes at the end of measure 48? Were the last two notes B and C? You're right if you said they were. And remember those Bs are the B that we use the register key and thumb and our pinkies for. Great, the last section of this piece starts at measure 51 and there's a first ending and a second ending. So we're gonna play from measure 51 to measure 56. One, two, play those repeats, go. <laughs> And there you have it. But the song isn't over. You see, at this point in the song, we're given some instructions. D, C, al fine with repeats. That is the instruction that means the song is not over. Start again from the beginning with the repeats and play to the fine, which happens to be measure 36. So we'll again play the first 36 measures. I'm gonna leave that up to you though, because I'm confident now that we've reviewed this piece and that you'll be able to play it absolutely perfectly on your own. So practice until you can do so. Until I see you next time, keep practicing.